Hi everyone! Today's toy hunt is filmed at Target. I'm in the front section, which the Pokemon Center is just empty, like rows and rows of emptiness. It's been going on for so long now. Um, but here's a look at some of the other items. The little um, World Smallest, as well as Teeny Mates have basketball figures now. That's cool. And they have some of the figural key rings here. I haven't filmed in the front in a while. Oh, I love the little Santa Stitch and Angel. That's cute. Um, a lot of the Bullseye Toy items are here. Um, they had a box for the BFF charms, but inside it was not the BFF charms. I really want to see those in person, though. Alas. Um, they also have a lot of the wacky packages up in front of Target, as well as the slot bands. Um, there's several other items. Oh, I know some of you asked about the sequins masks, face masks. They have them up here in front. Um, they're actually really, really nice. And they make some LOL surprise ones, too. That's cool. Then down the LOL aisle, Target has all the new OMG Dance 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 dolls. Major Lady looks really cool. I love the packaging on, on these as well. And then they have the other two up here. I think there's just four in the series. I might be wrong. At least these are the, the four I've now seen. And I know um, Monster High is making a comeback. That's kind of old news at this point, but I'm so excited for, for more dolls. Um, love Monster High so much. I can't wait to see what the reboot's going to look like. They also have the Dance 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 car one. That's cool. I haven't seen that one before. So if you're a doll collector, it's, it's an exciting time. There, there's a lot of cool stuff out right now. Oh, they have one of the style heads. Look at how cute. And it has little Num Nums earrings in included. How adorable is that? <laughs> I love how they just kind of add Num Nums to, to secret things. <laughs> I, I think that's really cute. They did that with the uh, big babies too, the big BBs. Oh, adorable. I love Num Nums. At one point, maybe we'll see them return. And then uh, Secret Crush has a nice display box of the little pets, which is, which are really cute. I've only opened one of those, and they also have the Series 2 dolls, which are adorable as well. Um, let's see, some adorables, as well as Compound King has these little cereal cartons with slime and sprinkles. Okay, that's just adorable. I've seen such cute packaging. Um, and theming on these Compound King slimes. And the slimes I've played with before are decent, but they do dry out rather quickly. But I haven't tried any, any new ones recently. They also have some of the Shopkins Real Littles packs, which are super cute. I hope they make another series of those. And then, oh cool, this Target is very well stocked with the um, mini brand Series 2. There's several um, half boxes and stuff going on in back, but that's that's a nice selection. Ooh, and then up here, um, there's a new Fairy Unicorn Squad series. Oh, look, it's the one with bat wings. Okay, that Snapsy doesn't belong here. Um, so that's cool. And again, these are made by Zuru, so they're part of the Five Surprise line. But the Fairy Unicorn Squad, that's really cute. I like those those ones. I've opened like the Sparkle, you know, Corn uh, Squad ones before. And then they also have the VIP pets. And then on the flip side to this aisle, this is where they have the the little woodsies. Um, there's some new packaging and items for the Spirit line. Very cool. They also have some of the Cave Club, the little dinosaur eggs, trolls, Jojo Siwa. Small hair adorables. The Lori dolls are in this section as well. And then towards the end here you have the Rainbow High dolls. Nice selection. They even have um, Kia Heart there as well as the cheerleading dolls. So cool stuff. And then in the sort of preschool section, Kindy Kids, um, I always like to take a look at some of the new items. They have the new Kindy Kid pets. Um, I haven't seen the bunny yet. They also have the kitty and then the koala. Oh, that bunny's cute with the rainbow ears. That's Marshmallow's little bunny. Marshmallow. <laughs> so, oh, 
oh, those remind me of those, you know, wild style petkins and shoppies. Love those. And then in the Disney section, they have these little like style dolls that are blind boxes. As well as some of the, the Disney comics. Raya and the Last Dragon sets, as well as some of the other Disney dolls. Ooh, there's a cool Frozen, and then um, this set, which I think it lights up, but I couldn't, <laughs> can't get it to work. <laughs> and then here's a quick look in the Barbie section. They have such a nice a variety of dolls. They also have the color reveal. Chelsea has her whole series going on. And they have um, more in the Barbie space line. As well as the, the moving, posable Barbies. Cool stuff. There's, there's a lot of variety to choose from. Oh, there's the Alex um, soccer doll. And they also have this cake shop, I believe. That's cute. And then in the Hatchimal section, um, they have some of the Wilder Wings packs, as well as the blind bags, the egg crate. And I have some little Scruffa Loves with the mermaids. Um, not too much new. Ooh, there is this parrot or party pets. It's a chicken. My bad. <laughs> Okay, that's really cute. That is a cute party pet. <laughs> I like it. They're always coming out with so many creative electronic pets. And then in the back retro section, love the pound puppies. They have Care Bears and then two little My Little Ponies. Um, I haven't seen any pictures of who's next in the My Little Pony line, if they're continuing the retro series. If you know anything, let me know. Um, I, I really hope they are. And then this Target has some of the Glitter Girls. Not every Target has this section, but look at this candy shop and how rainbow and magical and awesome does that look. Oh, it has a gumball machine. And they're the smaller size versus the R generation. Um, so they won't take us up as much room, but still such cute accessories. I love it. I think they're still a little bit too big for Rement, but um, they have this little like dog treat cart as well. Not to mention the little dolls. I really love the candy shop, though. So, that's cool. And they have a lot of cute little little outfits. So these are really, really neat. I'll have to check them out in future videos. And then onto the action figure section, they have the Zuru Dino Ice Age Surprise Smashers. Those are really neat. And then these plushies. They're adorable. I'm not familiar with this character or series, but okay, the little rainbow beanie hat, propeller hat, is adorable. And then in the Pokemon section, they had a little Munchlax. They got Pikachu plush and Mimikyu. Ooh, he's in one of the balls. And you know what? He is a different Mimikyu than the one I have. Huh, that's cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know Mimikyu's my fave. So um, he's part of the series with Litwick and Eevee. And he is in a different pose. So yeah, that's, that's adorable. So great to find a little bit of new Pokemon items at Target. There has been quite a dry spell even with the toys um, here as well. Hi Blooper. You're cute. So that's pretty exciting. Um, have some Sonic. That Sonic figure actually looks so so real. Very cool. And then it moves on to the Roblox. There's so many series of those minifigures. Um, they have some Series 7 there. Some Halo figures, some Fortnite, they have the, the Peely pack here. <laughs> Those are pretty cool. And then on this side, um, they actually have some cool model kits. Um, some Macross ones, that's interesting. I've never really seen these at um, Target and they have some Naruto. So I don't know if they're having like a little anime section. Um, at this particular Target, but I really like the model kits. They have a Star Wars X-Wing model kit too, and then even um, a Dragon Ball Z figure. I like to see more of those. I think those kits look really cool. I remember back when um, Barnes & Noble, I haven't been there in a while, but they have these as well. And then here's a look in the Jurassic World section. They have this really cool retro set, 
and as I was looking at it, it actually has the the banner that says when dinosaurs ruled the earth. Just that iconic scene at the end of Jurassic Park, the original movie. Um, yeah. I just want that banner. <laughs> that is so cool. That is a very nice um, attention to detail right there. And then we have some minions. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Again, not, not too well stocked, but Toothless is adorable there. Moving on to some Star Wars. We also have the character lightsabers. Some plushies from Galaxy's Edge. We have a little Porg. <laughs> That's cute. That one's the classic Porg sound. And then lots of little Grogu's. Very cute. In the Transformers section, um, they have the Bumblebee Shark Dracon. I'm looking for the other Shark Dracon if it exists. I'm pretty sure it does. But that's pretty neat. And then um, there's some, oh, cool, like really retro looking, oopsie, Marvel figures. Look at the cool Black Panther. I've seen pictures of these on Instagram and I wasn't quite sure. Oh, they have Iron Man. But just like they're re releasing like the G.I. Joes, the He Man, they, they have these awesome Marvel retro figures, Electra and Daredevil. So they had five different ones. So neat. I love that. I'm I'm such a sucker for retro toys as well. <laughs> awesome stuff. And then they had some of the other Marvel Bendy figures, but these weren't hanging on a shelf tag either. They're just kind of sitting here. So I'm I'm curious what other characters, but even the back looks like an old comic book cover type of thing. And look at how neat Black Panther is. Just that comic art in toy form very intriguing. I'm definitely going to have to keep my eye on these and see what other characters, if they're going to do X-Men. Okay, so I am back home from my toy hunt, and the only item I ended up purchasing is the super cute Mimikyu Clip and Go figure. At first, I thought it was the same figure that they've released before, but nope, it is different. He has his little arms out, the eyes are lit up, and he comes with that cool Pokeball, and he's part of this series. They did have Litwick and Growlithe there as well, but I was just happy to find something new in terms of Pokemon, let alone my favorite, which is the super cute to Mimikyu. <laughs> so that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. I do post a toy hunt each and every week, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.